Welcome to Wildermyth. My name is Mike B, aka Phony. This is a uh, middle of the fight here, uh, and it's going down. It's going down. So I have uh, in front of me a bunch of dream cr chrys chrysalis <laughs> and some thrusts, uh, and also this big ass thing over here called a kinestin. Kin kinestin. Um, so this is a, a, an end of a chapter fight here, and I wanted to start here because there's a lot of uh, action stuff. There's also a lot of story stuff, and I figured let's start with the exciting stuff here, and it's also because I'm kind of in a pickle. I don't know if I'm going to survive. So if I die, I can show you that too. Um, so uh, this is a turn-based strategy game. Uh, you get a party. Uh, you have three classes to work with. You have a mystic, you have a hunter, and you have a warrior. And you actually, you, and you, what you end up doing, instead of having a bunch of different jobs and stuff like that, like Final Fantasy Tactics or other games, uh, where you're kind of trying to finish synergy between different jobs, what you're doing is you're trying to basically tailor your individual character. And if I click on these characters, you can see they have their own character sheet. Uh, th these are all relatively new-ish characters. Uh, uh, she has two moves, Silk, Link, Silk Step and uh, Crippling Strikes. And other abilities, Star Heart, it says when Noxie takes damage, she has a 30% chance to blind the attacker. Uh, notice, yes, these are actual people uh, that I've named these characters after. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to actually change their aspects and such. So, or let see, relations history. Um, let me see, combat stats. Gear. Um, let me see. Where is the easy combat? Yeah. X farmer. Flirt. Gritty. Lucky. Yeah, that's me. That's 100, 100%, right? Yeah, that's me. Uh, let's see. And then we go to Noxie the Horny. Let's see, she's a dreamer, a star heart, uh, or, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Man, so yeah, I mean, you can customize them in a million different ways. I can go back and change them again right in the middle of the uh, right in the middle of the fight if I wanted to. Um, but it's kind of fun to go through and put these characters together and you know go through all that motion and and, and have your your actual characters out there, kind of like you used to do in Final Fantasy. You know, it's always like you, your best friend, and then the girl you like, and then I don't know, like um, maybe somebody else. Um, <laughs> and that's how you build your Final Fantasy group back in the early days. Um, so. We go and actually move uh, Noxie up here, get her uh, a range attack, and see if she can't do some damage. She can't really do much damage to these things. Uh, the armor too strong. Um, but these ones can take off one hit point, and it'd be kind of nice just kind of chip away at them a little bit. So we'll do that. To cover, of course, they're right behind cover. So yes, there's cover mechanics too. Let me turn this around a little bit so you can see. So you can see these uh, pop up cardboard, uh, whatever, <laughs> some plants here. So these plants, um, they do provide cover. And that's actually why I put them here so I can have cover back here. Uh, and funnel these guys through. So yes, I actually sp sprung all these things using Lax um, uh, Wild Grass, no, Roots, Roots and Shoots ability, which will basically, wherever you play, put this, it puts up to five uh, different plants. And the reason why you use why it's plants is because I can then turn around and infuse with them, hitting Q, I can infuse right now, this purple one I'm infused with, uh, and I can use that to actually spring an attack. So this thing has, let me see, let me see, this one has how much? Uh, let see, one out of two health. So I don't want to necessarily use it again because it might take damage uh, so all I'll do is I'll infuse with something else so I'll infuse with this one because I don't want to lose my cover right and then what I'll do is I'll grab this guy uh, let me see so we'll choose this one and we'll grab this I can one shot these with this ability and I'll take it I'll pick it up and I'll slam it over here or something like that in case it survives uh, it does survive oh no it does not survive so it's dead good so we have to get through this wall of these things um, and try to make our way over here to the kinesten here uh, let me see. I can approach this and, and just, uh, Baka could just take some hits. Uh, that's a risk. That's a real risk here. Uh, but, blah, 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 blah. It might be possible. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Lots more stuff over there. GG. It's going to be so great. Cannot wait. Um, see, 88%. I could kill this thing right now, actually. But either one of these. This one has more health, though. So let's go ahead and take this one out. Bam. Done. Six damage. Let me see. So you, you get up here and just start sniping. Actually, I think you get two shots off from here. Uh, can't even see. He's got two two hit points. Oh, shoot is a finish. Yeah, shoot actually finishes the turn. Never mind. So he does not get two shots. He's just going to do the minimum amount of damage you possibly can to these things. One damage. One damage, two blocks. So this is the, this is the enemy's moving. Now they're spawning more. Yeah, oh man. Baka's going to be taking a lot of hits. Oh, God. Oh, no. Baka, no. Okay, that's not good. Super not good. Oh no! Oh snap! Oh, Baka. Oh no, I'm not gonna lose this guy right now, am I? He's like, ah! 
Lack feels as if her limbs are made of lead. She tries to call out a warning, but she's too late. Baka doubles over. You're not dying here. It just, it's just it's not going to happen, okay? So minus one health, minus one speed this campaign. Ooh, man. Uh, it's time to go, love. Stay strong. Live happy. Abaka dies. Lack plus one warning. Finish the work, Lack. You do it better anyway. I'll see you again. Abaka dies. Lack plus ten. Oh, God. Oh, God. Plus ten retirement age. Boy, that's that's a weird that's a weird one. Wow. Wow. I'm di honey, I'm uh, uh, I'm dying. I'm dying now so that you can uh, live well into your work well into your fucking your sunset years. Um, no, let's try to keep them alive, actually. So, yeah, I, you know, through no help of my own, I, we ended up uh, romancing each other. Sorry, Lack. Uh, <laughs> hey, but you're single now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Lack's voice is all he needs to hear. Baka must live. Live to share those long, simple nights, the late and easy mornings, the, and the, with the woman he loves. And if their places were reversed, he'd expect Lack to do the same. That's right. Does she, does she save, what is she, oh, okay, so he actually is out of the fight now, okay, so he's done, oh, snap, that's my first time actually saving somebody, usually I'll just let them, like, die a martyr or something like that, you know, but I kind of want them to stay alive, <laughs> alright, let's try to snipe the ones that, um, are low on health, uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be tough, this is gonna be really tough, so this is Crystal, I could go and slap real quick with, uh, with a, a wretch here, boom, we'll bring it over, yep, it's, yeah, so now that, now, notice that that plant's gone now, um, let's see, Josh, you can take out uh, this. Okay. It's gonna keep spewing them out, huh? 10 damage. So it evolved into that bull. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, see, now they're, they're interfusing themselves. So these red ones here are now fused with this. So the same way that I was able to fuse into that plant and use that uh, as an offensive ability, now they have infused into these plants and they're going to use them as offensive abilities. So I'm now starting to lose my cover here. I got to fall back a little bit. Um, I'll fall back here. Notice there's a little. There's a little. It's called walling. You see, there's a little shield here. That shield just basically means that they're going to get a little bit of a uh, of a defense bonus by hanging out there. So we're going to go and snipe this one. It's under cover though, so it's probably not going to do too much. As a matter of fact, let me go and control Z. -Z no, 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 no. We'll, we'll, we'll just go with it and just hope it's forty-three percent. Oh my god! No, we're gonna, we're gonna control Z this. Can I not? <gasps> oh, I guess I ran out of undos. Oh, I got zero undos remaining. Um, man, I thought. Oh, dang! I didn't know I realized I used them all. Okay, well, forty-three percent. Of course. Yeah, that was a bad move. That was a bad move. Okay, let's see. She can do uh, roots and shoots and fuse. I can fuse into this one. Then probably dunk one of these two guys. Let me see. Can I dunk one into another? Let me see. Plant sends and grab draw enemy dealing damage, pinning them. Uh, instead of finds the phone, dragging them to special tile. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Crap. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter where I take it. It's gonna just. Let me see. Let's grab this one instead. So for this one, we'll bring him over. For fun. 10 damage. I mean, I do a lot of damage. I, I gave her an amazing uh, staff. So, like, just stupid amounts of damage, unfortunately, though. Unfortunately, it's still... Um, no, someone's gonna take damage here. Let me see. 87%. Better chance there. Um, you know, it's it's. It, I still have to, like, spawn the roots and do all that stuff. Gosh, spawning more, dude. How am I supposed to fight this? We're about to find out if I can actually escape. Can I escape this? Cannot retreat. It's all or nothing. Oh, snap. Oh, God. I'm in big trouble. I'm in big trouble. Okay, let's do this. So, if I come over here, uh, I about here or so, and I snipe you, if it hits, good. Now, if I attack again from a 90 degree angle, you see how it changes? And I see how, now it's a little broken arrow or something like that. It says arrow, arrow, and then broken arrow. That means that that is a, now a flank attack. So, that would do more damage uh, from here. Um,. I believe... Will she be able to do enough damage to actually... If this is... If this is too... Okay, yeah, um... Do you have any turns left? You do. Okay, good. Oh, you're only gonna do one! God! This bull years are so bad! I should've upgraded them. I should've upgraded them. I, I goofed. I goofed. I should've upgraded them. Um... Let me see. And more armor. Let's do that. Let's do a silk step. We'll do a silk step. Over here, and Silk Step will allow me to, to basically um, uh, ignore armor. Hopefully, I can just melee this one down. Good, 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 good. Now, which one is that? Was this one or this one? 
It was that one, of course. Oh, God, I was hoping I'd be far enough away from it. Oh, Jesus. This is the end. This is not good. We're going to fight to the end, though, man. This is not... I'm not going down. I ain't going down like this. This thing's got so much health. This is ridiculous, dude. This is no good. They're infusing with everything. What am I supposed to do? Okay, well, he's he's stealth now. So maybe we could get a shot off. Two, three, three. Ignoring armor. Four damage. Armor ignore. Oh, yeah, watch this. Okay. Hold on. It's not going to get close enough for me to do anything. But maybe I can... Hmm... Lots of things from cover. Let's have her out in the open here. And then... 100%, 75%, 100%, 64%. Oh, God. Oh, this is also technically uncovered. <laughs> in cover. All right, well, 100%, it's only going to take off one shield. It's not even worth it. It's not even worth throwing. Okay, so again, silk stepping it. I'm going to have my dudes just basically combo silk, just back-to-back uh, -back silk stepping um, over here. And then we'll get, we'll get the armor bonus. Shoots. Shoots and shoots, whatever. Boom! Oh, that's a great one. That's a great placement right there. That plant. I might I might be able to weasel my way out of this. I know look I know the odds look like really, 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 really bad. Oh god, it's just, now I just moved further away. Well, the odds just got worse. <laughs> it just took a step back and it was just out of range. Well, the odds just got terrible. Uh let's go ahead and switch to Lack and see if Lack can do some infusing, some magic infusing from here. Oh, 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 oh not there. Um, let me see. Can she reach for that one? Oh, hold on a second. That would be pretty good if I could reach for that one. Nope. Okay. Well, I got another infused, don't I? Oh, that's my only infuse. <gasps> okay. Let's take that one before it's too late. Okay. Let me see. Can I reach with this one? Let's see. This one? Nope. Cannot. All right. So, boy, this is this is called a this is called a pickle pickle. Um. Oh, this one can. This one can. Hold on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Pin. Pull it over. Pull it over. Pull it over. Okay, hold on a second. Somebody here. Uh, Noxie's still in cover. Noxie's going to be able to do 99% damage here. Ignoring armor. And then you... Oh, man. Can you please, Josh? Just pull, yeah, 100%. He's got two damage. Ooh. We have to survive all of these other things. But this is possible. Blocked, blocked, zero damage because we're all we're all linked together. Two damage, one blocked. Okay, well, you know it's not it's not the best. Okay, once we take that thing out, we're gonna fall back like crazy. Worded. Oh man, we're we're just because our characters are all all like sitting together. We have like minus one damage from this link. It doesn't stack, but minus one damage in the armor and every. Oh man, it's so good, so good, so good, so good. Okay, cool. Eighty four percent chance. Now let's, let's get a hundo. Let's get a hundo in there. Who's got a hundo? No one's got a hundo. Um, okay. Well then, you don't even have, you don't even actually have a vision. Okay, 84% chance. Please, 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 Noxie. Yeah! It goes down. Oh, that's all we had to do! Oh, baby! Look at that! Oh! It says, kill all, oh, Christmas may survive. Oh, it's right there at the top. <laughs> I was so obsessed. Dude, we did it. Oh my God. Okay, that's awesome. That's amazing. All right, so Baka's hands are full. What is this thing? Oh, it's an offhand. Um, so it seems magical. Grants extra potency. Ooh. Um, let's give it to Lax's hands are full. Everybody's hands are full. Let's just salvage it. We'll salvage it. <sighs> I'm sure it's awesome. So Noxie the Horny is now a Bloodhorn Hunter. Rogue. Every time Noxie kills an enemy, she enters a Gray Plane for free. Dude, that's awesome. And which is pretty great too. That basically just watches an area and whenever they walk into it, go. Uh, viciousness, Noxie's melee attacks, I don't care about melee, crippling strikes, hobbled uh, enemies deal. Uh, wait, oh, I guess, uh, okay, well, cool. So if she attacks, hobbled, and then, hmm, no, but rogue though. That sounds sick. So, uh, thing was just a big mama. Somewhere along the burned, uh, the birth through tunnel, like a rock changes character. Here, they walk a natural cavern that might have formed a century ago, expecting the star's arrival. Lack just wait a bit. It traveled through the night sky. It ca I called it a star, but it's... Lack places a palm almost involuntarily on the glassy rock and feels taken to a world on the other side. Weak action. Ax <laughs> huh. Okay, this is a creepy looking thing. It's got like humanoid hands. Oh, that's really creepy. Crack. 
Ah, Baka shatters a crystal, breaking Lack from the cords of terror they twisted around her brain. Lack. What just... Oh, uh, hi, uh, my, uh, thank you. The ensuing fall sees them back in Flank's skull. They share a drink in gold, wobbly light. The stars hold their place. I think it was like maybe a mooring line uh, thrown from their world to ours. They like to chamber freely. Uh, clam they like to clamber freely across it, but who can say why? Well, we threw the rope back to the sea. Trusting your account is the part that had me spooked. See, the fall and many a season flutter by. How many dreams are there in a single night of Earth, in a year of nights, in ten? Uh, are there many more that, that uh, never find a head? Are there dreams only meant for the dead? How long's the longest dream a dream ever wandered undreamt? Da -da 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 -da. Chapter one complete. That's just chapter one. So there are a number of different campaigns you could do. Some of them procedurally generated, some of them are story based. And as you can see, it is like, it, it is, as Inferno put it, it is a novel generator, a fantasy novel generator or comic generator. Um, this is like the most appealing part of this game. I thought at first, I was like, man, I'm not gonna read all this stuff. But damn, the more I read it, you know, it's kind of like in Monster Train or in any other game where you have like, you know, the, these encounters, encounters, and then you have like this reprieve, which is like more of a story based thing. But the story has a real outcome. It's not just a side story that adds fluff or whatever. Um, you, ha you make actual decisions. And you already saw when Baka went down, I was able to make a decision to keep him or I could have killed him right there um, and use you know, that to my benefit somehow. And so, <clears throat> you see, you basically your performance chapter you for nine years of peace, and I'll explain why that's a big deal. Um, so it's 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 intertwining your characters into these stories, and then those stories have real repercussions to your run. Uh, and this is, I think, this is one of the major reasons why people are so into this game is because it kind of tickles all those different parts of your brain. It's like the kind of the D and D side, kind of tickles that turn based side. Uh, it's it, it yeah, it just kind of gets a little bit of everything. For me, it kind of reminds me of Card Hunter in a way, um, except Card Hunter fo focus more on cards. And while this game has cards, as we're, we're going to look at these right here, um, the cards are not. It's more about the characters and the builds, and everything that you could do with your characters themselves. The cards. Are more for the enemy's purposes so these cards they get decks right and they could you know they could roll against you uh the different abilities and whatnot um and over time your enemies get stronger and so this you're basically racing against time so when i said you have nine years of peace that's awesome it means i have nine years hopefully to just go through and just set up more defenses and all that stuff um and start to build more uh and, and upgrade my characters and all that uh, we'll find out in a minute but you can see you know these are all the different upgrades and everything that have already happened on for the enemy you know over time because you know every every x number of days they get another card a calamity card or something like that so the victory is under my enemy's plans they've been weakened so the monsters are stronger, stronger, stronger. The thrust, the old card replaced a new stronger card. Okay, well, they've been weakened, so I guess they've lost th these cards here, which is super. Uh, during the years of peace. Oh, we get story in between. I've never finished a chapter. <laughs> I was playing on this other mode. I was getting my ass kicked. <laughs> All right, so this one says, uh, Baka, and Oxy, Baka and Noxy were stopped by a traveling woman, a resident of that small village. Um, let's see, okay, a great one. That's okay. She thanked them again for slaying the monster, ending the darkest days of her life. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This, this, this group. Well, I don't want to spoil every individual story because some of them get recycled, but um, you see, Josh noticed the school at Flank School had fallen and repaired during all the conflict so he passed but uh, passed the summer helping rebuild it uh baka was uh, visited by a woman cloaked in ivy the uh, spirit lay out three futures for baka to pick from after care liberation one was finally picked uh noxy began having dreams of a branched off life where she cut down ghosts and cliff giants as a means to survive to, to some unrevealed but urgent end uh, each night the dreams would tell a bit more and noxy was disappointed when they finally stopped there we go so all right, gear upgrades. Um, so I guess I could go through and do some gear upgrades now. It just usually doesn't just well, maybe because of the end of the chapter, it kind of drops right into this thing. Uh, but I can afford a, quite a quite a few upgrades actually to some of my characters. Uh, so this guy's already got. Um, this is a quest, uh, a quest augmented, I guess you could say. Um, there's this fire effect um, uh, weapon. I like it because it's a spear, so you get like two range on it, and he's relatively durable too. So if you get in close, he's still fine. Um, but you can't. I mean, you could go if you want to go the whole like you know uh, sword and board thing. You could go sword and then go over here and get the board. You know, you could do it. 
You could totally do it. Um, it's 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 totally plausible. You have to craft it though. Uh, it says right here, the seer has no one-handed weapons. You must have a one-handed weapon in order to use an off-hand weapon. Yeah. So there's there's some there's some limitations and such. Uh, the one star right there just basically means I upgrade it once, like upgrade again. And here, down here, here, here. Listen, listen. So uh, by taking over territories and stuff, which you'll see, you haven't seen the map yet. Uh, but taking over territories and completing all these like side quests and everything like that, and and fort fortifying plank and all that shit, uh, and doing missions, I ended up uh, with a, a number of different resources that I've accumulated. Remember when I broke down that that talisman or whatever it was, and the talisman says that I got like one spell thread or something out of it? Well, that was a resource I could use to make uh, another item. I craft something else. Now, uh, it, 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 some items take a number of things in order to craft. Like this one takes one, uh, one, 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 and two, and Blah, blah, blah. Cost with discount seven. Okay, and then seven. Okay, wow. So, uh, I have uh, four heartwoods, uh, and I need seven in order to make this upgraded uh, this version of my spear, right? Now, the difference of that is three. Uh, and I can craft it. I have th 13 legendary points, or uh, legacy points? Legacy points. Um, and I can spend some of those legacy points to make this. Legacy points is kind of like your um, your uh, very flexible currency that you could use um, <clears throat> to do to, to achieve different tasks and stuff like that, and obviously fill in the gaps here. Um, one of the tasks you could do whenever you get a calamity card, so whenever it says like the enemies have gotten stronger, you can actually veto cards. So if it's like this enemy gets plus twenty five percent health, and you're like fuck that, right? Which I've been doing. You know, you could just go and uh, click on you know minus one legendary point or legacy point in order to veto that one card for the enemy. So it's pretty rad. Like honestly, like the setup here is pretty fucking rad. Like I mean, you're 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 playing this a little bit like dungeon, uh, Dankus dungeon, where you're 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 going through and uh and, and you're more focused on 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 building up your characters and and you know not and not necessarily just like chugging through different characters and you know trying you know uh different classes and all that stuff like you're really refining and um doing what you can to get your characters um to be the best that they can be so let's see armor wise oh look at this so the fact that they're highlighted here means i could just straight up craft it because i have the material for it so this one i move, lose some speed he's already actually down speed so should be careful with that let's see dodge let me see minus five dodge i don't want to do that i mean he makes some strong armor and such but see stunt chance armor and dodge Oh man, I wanted I, I really wanted him to be tanky, but man, I might be asking for it here. Oh, here I can make this thing. Let me see. Minus four LP, five armor. Oh, that's straight up like super strong. Um, minus seven LP for this wilder guard. Stunt chance, armor, dodge. See, see, I gotta make decisions, man. Gotta make decisions. Okay, let's just go ahead. Let's go ahead and make this thing. We'll make fuck it. We'll make him slow. He's down to 0.5 speed. But he's gonna be strong. Oh, minus dodge. Why oh, yeah, I have dodge armor, darn mercy. No, no, this one. Um, because I have some plus dodge stuff. So Brawlguard's here. I actually need to rename this stuff, right? So a little more than a combat harness. It Brawlguard. Make a name of 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 Doom or something, right? Um, and that and it'll be like cool. Yeah, it's a cool name. And that's that's what it's gonna be called from now on. So I go and click on it. So Brawlguard of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these guys, boy, Josh, Josh and Noxie, boy, their bow, bow is just garbage. So we got to do something about that. Um, I'm not going to spend LP on this business here. I'll just go and upgrade with the, with the material that I currently have. Let's see, four and two. I can actually upgrade mm, one here. The Autumn Arc. Yeah, good. And this one here will cost me probably one LP because, yeah, I just used that one hide. Hornet Curve. A well-made bow. <laughs> just a well-made bow. It's nothing special. Uh, but, yeah, Lack has this... Has this um, Oh man, she has she has this staff, and this staff gives her a ton of spell damage. This is why she was wrecking things with those vines, just absolutely destroying things. It's fucking cool. So, need anywhere help? We can get us because moving quicker. Uh, and it says tents rolled, breakfast is done, eaten. We can go. Good. Been a while since I've had to stab anything with my old spear. You know? She's like, what? Yeah, that wasn't a threat. I'm talking about the Thrixel uh, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about sex. Uh, things have been predictably back towards con conflict. The Thrixel problem has, uh, was hoped to be, but never really truly solved. All right. Let's see. Uh, what's Earth itself become involved? Oh, Rumble. Oh, dang. Baka, I feel it. Let's see. Earth shakes. I've been incredibly... Okay. Whoop. Okay. Kind of slosh. Thrumble. Okay. Rickety houses. You two okay? You spilled our breakfast. Oh, Baka. She's a Baka. <laughs> <laughs> she's just exactly what she would call me in real life. I'm not even lying. I call her lock, Lack in real life, so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> all monster groups draw extra monster card in every battle. What? Oh, God, why do they have to keep getting stronger? All right, cool. So here's the map. Ah, damn it. All right, here's the map. 
And, uh, and I'm just gonna gr go over this stuff. You guys are done seeing combat, by the way. <laughs> You're done seeing combat, because now we gotta go over all the rest of this stuff, and that's the end. But I'm definitely gonna play some more of this. Um, without you guys, no. <laughs> Recruit opportunity. Oh, this is great. So check this out. All right here at the top, it says, uh, year 14, summer day, uh, 35, and I have 173 days until the next Calamity card, uh, which as I already told you, it's a card for the enemy decks. Um, I think four cards get picked. And then 360 days so next incursion so i have a year spawn rate it's on 1.1 from two infested tiles so right here you see this tower here is infested and this one over here is also infested that just means that um they uh can spawn more from there once the actual assault happens and then uh but i could go there and clear it up pretty easily so let's go ahead and do that let's just show you let's scout we'll scout the whole damn everybody there it is we'll come over here we'll do recruiting so you can see what that's like uh for an old wish passing josh josh and lack go and pay their oh okay what is this um no, oh, Josh and Lack are called to the hill village where an acquaintance of theirs have lost his husband. Oh, dang. Looks like rain's on. Wow, hope the rights are short. Looks like rain's on the way. Dang, Lack, dang. You're worse than Heartless. You're proud of it, aren't you? They don't get along, by the way, the rivals. The uh, the funerary, funerary rites uh, are brief. The crowd that's gathered is impressive for such a small town. Uh, it's more to disperse Josh and Lack's spot. Dagan, uh, standing a flower strung cart. Kind of try to see all this stuff is just like and, and this is my characters you know what i'm saying like this is not these are not like uh a, a pre-written characters or anything like these are my characters i i design i these are my weapons that i put on them uh i chose the colors for their outfits you know what i'm saying like i i, I yeah you know, i'll show you the character sheets in a minute we'll, we'll go in a little more detail um but uh but yeah i mean this is this is what makes this game so appealing is that you know you could just um you make your own characters and you put them in here, and I love that. I love that. Choose your own adventure, but with the, you, you, your best friend, uh, the girl you, uh, at school that you like, and who was the fourth one? There's always like a standard fourth one, you know. <laughs> I don't remember who the who the fourth one was, but it was always like, yeah, you, your buddy, and then the girl you like, and then maybe your buddy's girlfriend or something like that. And then you just like, you just like whatever, um, <laughs> or you try to steal them. <laughs> Green veiling, it's called a woven shroud of Dawn's Word. Dawn's Word grows thick around here in the little woodlands you'll see. It's a strong aroma. The body stays fresh, sometimes as long as four years or five. What? We hill folk will generally build a clay home for the departed. Let's see, uh, Memory's House. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, wait, but I'll plan on waiting. Oh, what the heck? Is this guy gonna. So you plan to bury him soon tonight? Okay, no, my husband, Offmoth, and I will be going on a journey, and I hope you'd come along. Uh-oh. A hard sudden rain falls. See, yes, I hope you'd come be our escort. It's a dangerous world, and you're both strong. Stronger than I could, than I remembered. Ah, here we go. So we get decision time. Well, Josh might say no, but I'll go with you. I'm in, too. I think we have some other things to take care of. We'll have time when we come back. Oh, dang. Um, so if I start this, it's gonna go right into another mission, I think. Um, let's see. One, two, three. Noxie the Horny is going to keep going. So she's going to keep going over here to scout, which is cool. Oh, this is actually a very important thing to bring up, honestly. Um, is that, uh, is that notice that you can split your party. So you can have a number of people, um, more than just the four. You see that I can go pick up a fifth person over here. Um, and as long as I feel confident that I could defeat everything with, like, whatever small group that I have, a squad I have running around... Um, actually doing all of the battles and stuff, then, you know, I could just, I could have people managing all types of different tasks all over the place. That's actually the point of the game. You know, up, up left corner, you can see there's a little question mark there. That means that these, these three people aren't doing anything. Technically they are, but they're not doing anything right this second while Noxie is actually scouting out this area here. So let me see. We're going to go and we're going to skip just because, you know, time. Um, I'm sorry, Dagan, we can't stand here and let you throw your life behind this, uh, find his. Oh, he's going to help me complete the ceremony. Oh, is this guy going to try to kill himself? He spent his life in Turdy with his husband or something like that? Uh, it should be his choice. I can't say I do different Baka. I was in the cart. Let's let him listen to do, do what he's going to do. Now, not that I claim to understand. There is no one I love enough, I suppose, that I go haunting with the gloom uh, with them forever. But all right. What's the first thing? Well, lay us with the foot of the shrine, and then she'll test us. A test time? Well, unfortunately, I'm one of the greatest characters. Oh, God. Cheaters are his. Oh, jeez. Such a goofball. Oh, well, I made him a goofball, and he's actually pretty obnoxious. <laughs> it is dangerous. We must duel the guardians. What? Oh, man. Okay, let's skip. Hold on. Truth is tested. Okay, they're going to put me right into damn mission. What is... Uh, retainer... Oh, God. Okay. So it's just this guy here. Okay, I could do this, man. This is going to be easy. Easy peasy. Let's zoom through this. <laughs> okay, and then uh, you're going to... You're going to guard... Actually, these go up here. It's fine. Whatever. 
and then what is this piece of piece of material um and then what we'll do is we'll go uh silk step actually no let's do heroism and then we can silk step <clears throat> is that, oh, is that actually end the turn still it'll actually end the turn okay so let's get cover here and then we'll just snipe i think we got two shots here blocked naturally and then one damage okay three blocks okay now she could get up here pretty close she'll have the the benefit of the walling the defense here and then we'll interfuse with uh with this stump splinter blast it's a pretty good ability and then splinter blast we'll just go boom 100 percent chance hits bam armor shredded it's over for this guy get out of here old god dang dang what happens when you upgrade your gear I look, I'm gonna level up again. The old god slayer, Baka. Look at this guy. Baka the first is now Blue Horn Warrior. Vigilance. Let's upgrade. Uh, let's see, once per combat while wounded, activate to gain plus two damage. Okay. Uh, once per combat, as a swift action, Baka can call Whispers to guide him to a distant tile. Oh, sick. Ooh, for someone that's slow, it's pretty good. Uh, Baka reduces the cost of recruit jobs by one, by one plus five stunt to all heroes of the party. Ooh, stunt. It's a crit. Uh, Baka's heightened senses allow him to perform up to two reaction strikes per turn. Damn, also good. Uh, Windwalk. Like I said, this guy's, um, he's hurt. Memorial Pauldron. Armor Potency. Um, let's go and give that to, let's see, Armor 1.8, Potency 3.9. Uh, let's see, 2.3, 1.7, 2.3, 1.8. Okay, so these guys are, are, are a bit worse off. So let's go and give it to the drunk here. Josh the Drunk. So Guardian Falls. It's great stone knees clattering apart. Me IRL. The wheeling rocks gather dust. The shadows they settle. They look like they're just resting there for centuries. The glade goes calm. And the day again starts to fade. Goddess. The wrapped body of Avmoth across his lap seems to lose its substance. He has time to say, thank you, friends. And then he disappears with, oh, God, it's true love. Oh, Jesus. Say, well, now that's done. Mm. Yeah, good thing. What's up? Where? Where's the ox go to? Got to, huh? Oh, left. See, so they find not far off, uh, lo lo lowing pleasantly and munching clover. Oh, okay. Just chilling. I do hope we made the right decision. I hope that Avmoth are happy together and happy. I mean, that's a whole eternity. God, that's a long time, man. Eventually, you start running out of jokes. Ah, <sighs> sniff, sniff. What does it smell? Nothing. Oh, it's still night. Everybody goes to sleep. Hey, that light's annoying. I picked these up around the stones where Dagon disappeared. Didn't even think about it. Hmm, making notes. Oh, some notes. Boy, don't be, you can't be messing with my girl, Josh. See that? <laughs> they return to day again. Admiral once built. They set things in order and see that it passes to a worthy family. <clears throat> the road is pale, splotched, torn. See, this, like, I mean, this story is great. Like, it's just, it just puts you guys into this stuff, you know? One less friend we have in common now. Hmm. Oh, yeah. See, those memories, old wishes of ours. It's hard to let the good things know. Okay, there you go. The wind picks up. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Josh the Drunk is now Blue Horn Hunter. Upgrade plus 30 dodge against range attacks. Uh, Wisdom Josh gets bonus to all campaign level tests based on age. Plus 100% base drop speed for every 35 years of age. Dang. Uh, yeah, they have a retirement age, by the way. Notice that before I was able to, like, I, I could have just died and just made lack work well into her 70s. Um, jump jaw. Twice for combat. As actually Josh throws a jump jaw trap that will deal three damage and pin the first enemy who walks near. Josh will counterattack after a successful melee block or dodge. Ooh. He's never really within range, though. I like the trap thing, but also just straight upgrade. Just make them hard to hit, you know? So she's still over here doing this. And actually, I'm not going to just let her just sit there and do that. I'm actually going to move my characters over here. So we're going to click on this. Uh, and then we'll go gather. And it's like those three heroes. Good. And then they're going to move over here. So there's a, a, on this screen. Okay, cool. So we've uh, revealed. Great. So we can see that there's stuff here going on. Um, the uh, 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 the bad stuff. <laughs> We're going to move my character over here. I, I think she can actually uh, patrol this on her own. It would just take her 60 days to complete. You need us three. Oh, I need three heroes on a patrol. That would clear up this, uh, this stuff. Um, and so, infestation, infestation, there it is. Uh, but I want to talk about other things here, too, so that way this is not like a, you know, four-hour video, because it very easily could be, which is one of the reasons why I started in the middle of a fight. Um, but yeah, so, 
on these tiles, I can actually click and uh, and do like, for example, this one here, flank skull, right? We'll wait till we get a flank skull. Waste a couple days. Dismiss. Uh, time stops automatically when you, whenever you get to like a stop point. Uh, I could go in here and I could recruit this person. Um, let me see leg the legacy cost. Let me see. We're not going to bring Noxie. She's 18 days away. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, and then <clears throat> we'll be able to see who we get to, who we can uh, uh, um, recruit from there. You can also craft from basically any time, uh, and you can also uh, recruit. No, oh, sorry, that's not recruit. Uh, uh, prepare defenses. So you can prepare, prepare defenses, and this what this does is whenever uh, the the big bad, whatever that is, the gorgons or whatever enemies um, start to rampage across the across their world, uh, the better defense you have, the the more you thin out that army. So if it's like an army of six or something, right? Let's just make up a number. An army of six, uh, and they come trudging through, and they go through two tier three defenses. Guess what? That that last set of defenses is going to take them out. So that helps you a lot. So you're not. I mean, that last fight was really tough. I ended up, you know, basically one of my characters being down. So that's. Um, so these are very like important things to manage on a world level, and in terms of how big the world can get. Uh, and hey, what's the point? Let's go and make some build some resources. There we go. Uh, oh, never mind. They're all busy. So never mind. Um, but in terms of how big the world could get, I have no idea. But it looks pretty big. If this is the edge right here, right? And this is looking over here, another edge. Like I can't move any further than this. But I'm willing to bet that this that makes a big ass circle, and that's a lot of territories you could go and manage. So I'd imagine end game in this, assuming that you had like an endless run or something like that, you can have a pretty significant like amount like risk level, you know, where you're just managing all these different territories and uh, and all these different people. Uh, I don't know how many people you max out with party wise, um, but I mean, like it seems like it's 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 enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough to get the job done if you're going to be managing, uh, you know, so many different areas and with a party of like three, like a roving party um, with like one or two of them kind of running around and doing like reinforcements or whatever. I already have a couple here and there. Uh, now, by securing these areas, you see one heartwood uh, if held at the end of the chapter, a chapter to two spell threads if held in a, in a chapter. So there are different um, uh, perks that I get. Uh, by having more territories at the end of a chapter. This is a three chapter run. Uh, I just finished chapter one. And like I said, each one of these, each each mod is a little bit different. Let me go back out here. Um, let me see. We'll and save. Let's save. New save. Then we're gonna get out. Oh, you can build bridges, by the way. See this little river here? I don't really have a good example. But if there's a um, if there's a river with no bridge, you can build a bridge. It just takes time. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Da, 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 da. So we'll go to quick game. There we go. And we can look at my legacy. Oh, this I love this part, by the way. My first couple of characters are here. Um, they're like weak level one characters or whatever, but uh, but still, these, these are my first characters. They get retired to here when you first start off. It's pretty great. She got this glass eye. She was fucking with this gemstone, and you could choose whether to fuck with it or not fuck with it. And it basically impaled itself into her eye, and so it gave her a plus six uh, crit chance, which is pretty rad. Like, I mean, there's all kinds of cool stuff. That's full hero, no, no local legends, uh, no fabled heroes. I haven't really gotten that far, you know, in terms of like trying to get. Uh, characters into the higher tiers um, <clears throat> but yeah here's all my achievement progress and everything uh, this game has been in uh, early access since 2019 and boy do they really put the work into it uh, like if I go to play and I say uh, let's say a new story right it was multiplayer by the way um, I have not tried it honestly but these types of games I don't typically like to play multiplayer anyways um, so, which, but it might be rad, actually, if you're controlling different characters, it might be rad. Um, hard to find other people that even like to play this game, kind of game, honestly. <laughs> uh, let's see, so Age of Ulstrix, uh, so all these are different types of, of, um, they're five chapters, this is a five chapter story, uh, see, All the Bones of Summer, five chapter story, I mean, that's a long time, like, one chapter took me at least a couple hours, I think, maybe, um, or, yeah, maybe, like, maybe, like, an hour and a half, 90 minutes, so, yeah, one run could be pretty long, um, there's legacy chapters, so even if, if you're a character you really love and you ended up, like, losing it in a story or something like that, like, you can actually bring it back in a legacy, like, to start off in the legacy five chapter or three chapter, uh, also, I, uh, when you recruit, you can pay legacy points to bring back some of those characters, but the higher level of the character, the more legacy points it's going to cost you. So this game is, is like really well fleshed out. I, I actually went through, this is 
the how to play and it's really easy to read lots of great examples um teaches you just basically everything so i mean just spend time going through this and it takes you seriously like it's like 10 minutes of reading i don't like reading all right i'll tell you that right now <laughs> i don't like reading you can also click on this and it takes you to a three a three minute video that basically tells you all this shit so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i mean solid game man super solid game uh i'm probably gonna put some more time into it um just trying to complete this one campaign at the very least the very least um but uh but yeah i'm i'm, uh, I'm really excited about this one man this is pretty good it, it early access since 2019 uh it released to um uh it released released uh june 15th uh this year obviously so a lot of work went into it obviously uh, a lot i could tell like a lot of player feedback was taken into consideration because a lot of stuff that i that i've seen throughout gameplay i've been like wow that's that's not that doesn't really feel like a developer uh, a decision that feels like a player feedback decision <laughs> which is a good thing which is a good thing so the game is available on steam for 24 dollars and 99 cents you could check it out there thank you so much for watching my name is mike b aka phony again this is wildermeth thanks for watching i'll see you